Hey you guys, what's going on? It's Colton with Wasatch Bank Explorer. So, I'm headed out to record a few videos today, um, but I wanted to start off this video in particular because there's a few items that I want to discuss with you that I feel are pretty important to all backpackers and explorers really, but mostly to the beginners. So I'm just coming up on where I want to record. So I'm getting, going to um, get to where I'm going to record and then we'll uh, keep this video going. So let's go to that point. Alrighty guys, like I said, I am headed out to talk about some pretty important things, in my opinion, when it comes to uh, backpacking. So, let's have a little chat. So, there's been something on my mind lately as I've been watching some YouTube videos and kind of thinking on my own, looking back at some of my, my videos and some of the videos from other YouTube creators that got me into starting this channel first of all but also in into actually getting into backpacking more because I always liked it um, for those of you that don't know I am an Eagle Scout um, so I grew up doing scouting I went on backpacking trips and I kind of got the itch for it then but I didn't really have anyone to go with didn't have the means to get out a lot because I couldn't drive during a lot of those years and then when I could drive I didn't really have a vehicle to get to like some of the cool backpacking places. But then, uh, you know, just recently, um, like five, four years ago, um, that's when like the big push came for me. I started buying gear and I started going, you know, because I kind of felt like I got my own independence as a person, you know, after 18, 19 and so forth. So. I kind of got thinking about some things and I wanted to talk about today, you know, five things that every beginning backpacker should consider or just keep in mind as they're, you know, out and about as they, you know, start getting into backpacking and exploring and finding this passion that they have for the outdoors. So I'm going to talk about those five things that I think are important. Now. I'm gonna have to use my phone because I wrote them all down. But these five things are not in order of importance. I've kind of ranked them as such, but there's no like hard set rule in my opinion on this. Um, and these aren't like the only ultimate five things um, to remember when you know getting into backpacking. But I think it's something important and it's something that I wish I would have realized, you know, kind of in the beginning and Things that I didn't really consider, no, how should I say this? Things I didn't really recognize I was doing, but I wish I would have paid more attention to. All right, first one on the list, enjoy the journey. All too often, even in my own experience, and even recently, I get caught up in the game of, you know, I'm gonna hike from here to here, and I'm going to do it as fast as I can because I want to get to that destination. Or um, this isn't really like the coolest spot in the world. I, this isn't the best campsite. This isn't the best area. Yada, yada, yada. There's so many different scenarios that can play out for this. But enjoy the moment because I look back on some of my backpacking trips where it was just like in and out, go, go, go. Just like hike in, camp, turn around, hike out. I miss so many good opportunities to enjoy those like special moments of just being out in nature, just enjoying what you're around, enjoying the people that you're with, whether you're with someone or you're by yourself, enjoying the scenery, um, all sorts of things. Just make sure that you take your time when you're hiking, take your time when you're in camp, you know, just make sure you plan enough time to enjoy it and that you don't get caught up with all oh, the task of me hiking to a spot. It's just an act of doing because the hike can actually be some of the best um, part
parts of backpacking. And for me, a lot of the places that I go, especially in the Uinas, um, the hike is amazing. I see so many cool things and, you know, I'm more focused on the end destination rather than the journey getting there. So always remember to enjoy the journey. Remember to take time during your whole trip to just say, this is why I'm here. I'm enjoying the things I'm enjoying because this is what I want to do. You know, all those things. Just take time to step back and just enjoy the whole trip, not just certain parts. Number two, stay within your comfort zone. Um, for most of us, I think that that's pretty easy. I mean, a lot of us don't like to be pushed with outside, outside of our comfort zone, which is fine. You know, that you know keeps us safe and it allows us to enjoy, like I said, enjoy the journey. Um, and, but with that token, you know, sometimes you have to push yourself outside of the comfort zone. Not too much, but just enough to help you along. Um, do longer hikes. Do hikes that may have more elevation gain. Um, you know, things like that to push you just a little bit further as a backpacker or as an explorer. And to really enjoy the skills that you're acquiring as you're going. You know, maybe you don't like hammock camping. Maybe try hammock camping. Push yourself outside the comfort zone. You know, things like that. You can just do little things to push yourself outside the comfort zone. But make sure that you don't go so far out that you're unsafe, first of all. And second of all, that you're just really hating the trip. Because that's not why you went out. You want to enjoy the trip. You want to have fun. So stay in that comfort zone, but make sure you do stuff that'll be memorable and that'll be enjoyable. Um... One thing that I've really realized, um, if you listen to Devin with Backcountry Exposure, he has a podcast called The Backpacking Experience. And one of the episodes he talks about, you know, type two fun, which is, you know, it may not be fun in the moment because you're having to hike, you know, nine, ten miles. But when you look back on the trip, you're like, that was awesome. I pushed myself. I saw some great places. I was with great people. That was an awesome trip. Even though I was sore every night, I was hungry, I was dirty. That's the type of fun where you can have the most experiences. Um, and if I can, I'll link that episode and his podcast down in the description below because he has an amazing podcast and it's a real, pro the, the, the real pleasure to listen to every week. Um, so yeah, just stay within your comfort zone. Make sure you plan trips that are fun. Um, and make sure that you just enjoy every moment. Number three gear doesn't matter i don't think i can stress this enough because i've been caught up in you know this acquisition of gear i just want the best gear i just want to be like all these other people that i see on youtube or you know wherever it may be i want to have the light stuff i want to have the new stuff i want to be able to you know share all this new gear on this channel and it can get really really um consuming and it can really take away the experience of backpacking. Um, now, I've been blessed to have, you know, the ability to work for all, all of the gear that I have. And I have some nice pieces of gear. And I also have some gear that's, you know, more budget. Which actually does really great for some of the, the uh, uses that I have for it. Um, the ultralight push right now on YouTube and in the backpacking community is huge. Don't feel pressure to be this ultralight backpacker in order to enjoy backpacking. All too often when I watch these ultralight backpackers, they come across to me, and there's some great people out there, but they come across as like the only way to enjoy a good hike is to like carry the least amount of gear possible and as light as you can and hike as far as you can, as fast as you can. And you know, to each their own. If they want to do that, that's amazing. That's awesome. I really I'm happy for them. That's what they want to do, and that's how they get enjoyment. But don't let that slow you down from going out and enjoying some of the places and the activities that you love because ultimately the gear isn't the one providing the experience. It's you getting out and doing things. Now, with that being said, you got to have the proper gear in order to stay safe, to stay warm, and to be able to you know enjoy the whole trip. Um, so make sure you have the proper gear to stay warm, but you don't have to have the best, the newest, the lightest, the greatest, the latest, all this stuff. Just make sure 
that you get out first and foremost and then let the gear come as you develop your skills. That's the biggest thing. Um, gear will come as experience grows. Don't. It's not the other way. Experience doesn't come as gear grows. So that's kind of a saying I've just made up. Number four, find someone that you can go out and enjoy with. Um, this one's huge. For the most part, the reason that I got into backpacking was because of my friend Eric. He's been on the channel multiple, multiple times. Um, me and him kind of got the bug at the same time and we just started going out. And that's, you know, kind of what pushed us. We kept going and going and going. And, you know, we pushed each other. We, you know, bounced gear ideas off each other. And that's kind of what got me to where I am now. As I've gained more experience, though, I have gone out by myself, which... I'm totally fine with now. Um, you know, if you don't have someone to go out with, you can go by yourself if you're a beginner, but it's a little more dangerous and you have to be really careful. You have to know exactly where you're going. You cannot stray far from the path per se. Um, but first and foremost, you need to have someone with you, especially if you're brand new. I can't emphasize that enough. Um, be with someone and make sure that you're confident in your skills and your abilities to take care of yourself in the backcountry because nature is not friendly. Oops. Nature's not friendly and it'll bite you in the butt if you're not careful. Um, now that being said, like I said, you can go out and you can have fun just by yourself. I love going out by myself. Just, it's kind of like a reset. Just let me just decompress, just enjoy the trip more because I'm not feeling like this kind of social pressure like oh does this person want to leave does this person want to do this yada 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 i can just do what i want when i want where i want and i can just have a great time so now i know i just got done ranting about you know going solo but having someone there to push you to help you that's really an awesome experience and it's something to treasure because you grow closer with that person that you're going with and you just become better friends and if you're with your spouse you go you develop better with your spouse I wouldn't know that because I'm single but rumor has it but anyways yeah find someone to go with it's an awesome experience East number five is plan 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 I am a huge advocate of planning everything in my life to the best of my ability as much as I can I try and plan out things to the T if I can all of my video scripts are planned, all of my videos are planned. Most of my videos are planned. Most of my videos. Um, schooling, everything's planned. I plan out everything. All my trips are planned. I start planning them months and months in advance. Sometimes I do just spur the moment weekend trips. But make sure you plan. Um, some of the things that you have to plan for um, when backpacking and exploring. First and foremost, weather. Weather is huge, especially for me where I go in the Uinta Mountains. The weather up there is just back and forth all day long. So you have to kind of get a general idea of what the weather's going to be like and be able to plan for that throughout your trip. Um, another thing you can do is where you're going. Plan location, plan your food, plan your campsites, plan your gear. Planning what gear you're going to take is huge. Um, you can plan for safety scenarios you can plan for like for me it's like shots i want to get you want, plan 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 um the reason i say this is because if you just go out there willy-nilly you don't have a plan you just kind of threw stuff in a bag and you just went to like the first trailhead you found um it can get real fast like i said mother nature is not that friendly she is not nice to those that don't prepare. Um, and that's the first thing with any survival situation is you have to have a plan in place or you're not going to make it. Um, so make sure you have the right gear. Make sure your people know where you're going. Make sure you have enough food. Make sure you have enough skill. Make sure you have enough confidence to do whatever you're going to do. Um, and it will make the trip 10 times better. So with that being said, as with many of these other points, don't be afraid to roll with the punches. You know, oh, if you're, if the place you're going is like super busy, you have to go somewhere else, that's okay. 
um, just make sure that it's not gonna you know jeopardize the safety plan that you have and make sure that you're gonna be okay with going to that next spot or doing that next activity or you know hiking that peak and whatnot you always have to plan planning will save your life if you fail to plan you plan to fail that's a, a quote I heard I don't remember who it's from but um, yeah it's just something that I kind of live by so those are the five points that I wanted to you know kind of share with those that are looking to get into backpacking I know this video has been kind of longer um, but it's some things I wanted to share like I said, I may come up with more of these as I kind of think and I come up with new scenarios. But just remember that. First and foremost, enjoy the trip. Second of all, be safe. Plan. Um, find someone to go with. All of these things you have to consider. And there's many more, and I'll probably share some more in the future. So if you guys liked anything in, the, in these last five points, make sure and comment down below. If you have your own points that you would like to share with me, make sure and comment down below. I'd love to hear your... You know points and maybe you know if we get enough input and whatnot I'll create another video from some of the bullet points or some of the ideas that you guys share so make sure and comment down below I'd love to hear all of your guys's opinions so that's gonna wrap up today's video guys I hope you enjoyed it's been a pleasure to share these um, you guys are all awesome thank you to all the subscribers and if you aren't subscribed make sure and subscribe because there's gonna be more videos just like this more gear reviews more trip videos more ideas, more vlog type videos, all sorts of things. Make sure you subscribe. Alrighty guys, thanks. Hope you have a good week and we'll catch you in the next video.